Are you looking to bulletproof your in-home sales process for residential HVAC? If yes, you're in luck because in the next few minutes, I'm going to summarize a presentation that I delivered at ACCA's annual conference. Are you ready for a spoiler alert? We're going to take a deep dive into what makes a more professional, profitable, and productive sales and install process. Because the bottom line is just this. Those are the three secrets to bulletproof your sales process. Hi, my name is John Steadley. I'm the CEO and founder of Intelligent Mobile Support. We make Sales Builder Pro. Let me start with a little story. It didn't happen to me. It happened to someone else. But the story is going to be worth your while. It's going to take us someplace very important. Our Eastern Zone sales manager, Trip Jordan, told me this story about his 30th day on the job as a comfort advisor in North Carolina, and this happened eight years ago. Tripp was given the address of a new prospect, a Mr. Jones. He checked his Google Maps, found it was an hour drive away, and near the end of that hour, he finally got to a right turn down a poorly marked country road. There was still no house in sight, but after a few hundred yards, he could see a house, and as he drove closer, he could see the house had a front porch, and on that porch was setting a man who assumed to be Mr. Jones. So Tripp gets out of his truck and starts to walk towards the man. At this point, he could see a dog laying down next to the man, a dog so mellow, the dog didn't even get up. Hello, are you Mr. Jones? Tripp asked. Yes, said the man. My name is Tripp Jordan, and I'm that comfort advisor that's here to help you. What seems to be your problem? What's going on? As he gets closer, Tripp can hear the dog is moaning and whimpering and whining. So, well, I don't know about you, but I know Tripp and I know I'm a dog person. So what would you do? Exactly like anybody else, you'd probably ask, what's wrong with that dog? So Tripp says, well, Mr. Jones, if you don't mind me asking, what's wrong with your dog? Nothing really, says Mr. Jones. He's just lying on a nail. So Tripp was astonished and asked, can I ask you why he doesn't get off the nail? Well, said Mr. Jones, I guess it just doesn't hurt that much. Okay, so hold that thought, hold that image in your head for a while. A dog lying on a nail, whining about it, but not bothering to get up because it just doesn't hurt that much. What nails are you lying on? What nails are you whining about or nails that your sales team is whining about? What sales problems remain unresolved for you? In our business, we make a sales tool. So we're here, uh, we hear about sales problems every day. Uh, you might call these pain points or unmet needs or unsolved problems, but really, isn't that image of a dog laying on a nail far more graphic than unsolved problems? Personally, I love the nail analogy. Do you want to know what nails are problems we hear about day in and day out? The number one problem, the number one nail we hear about is usually phrased this way. I don't have the ability to make a one call close. Actually, it might be better stated as I don't have an effective sales process to close deals on the spot. Now this can be a unitary replacement, a new boiler, a ductless mini split, it can maybe be a retrofit plus a ductless mini split to solve a hot or cold room problem. You get the idea. Now you'll never close every deal at the kitchen table, but if you're not able to leave the customer's house with a signable proposal, you're really leaving money on the table. You're a setting duck for your competition. So let me give you a hint to what problem number two is. It's related to number one. If you can't close deals at the kitchen table, build those proposals, then you end up spending nights and weekends making those proposals. You might call them quotes or estimates, but you know what I mean. Well, that's a big nail. Don't these folks have wives or kids or golf clubs or a fishing rod they'd rather be with? And what about the number three problem we hear about? It's usually said this way, we're just not as polished as our competition. Or we might hear it this way, our proposals just don't stand out from our competition. We are living in a sea of sameness. Or they might say it this way, we have a field service management solution, but our retrofit sales proposals come out looking like a simple service quote. Our customers tell us that while a field service management solution is perfectly designed for a service call that costs a few hundred dollars, those same service solutions don't cut it when you're trying to close a $10,000 deal. Service management tools are just not designed for the professional sales representative. Simply stated, customers want to look more professional than their competition. You know, like it or not, your business is judged on the first impression 
from your sales rep. If they have a clean looking proposal, they deliver it on the spot, and they make it easy for the customer to buy from you, you're going to win more deals. Finally, the fourth problem we hear about, and then we'll move on, usually comes like this. We are sick and tired of losing sales to competition. I'm guessing that describes most of you out there. As much as you love winning, you hate losing even more. You're a competitor, you're a fighter, you deserve the best business tools. So you and your team can win more deals in less time and earn more money. So let me change directions and talk about a few specific customers and the, the nails we have removed for them. Let me take you back to the story of our first customer. It was Four Seasons HVAC in Chicago. And to this day, they remain one of our largest users. They have over 50 uh, sales reps and service individuals using our platform. What were their nails? Well, they had a long list. I'll boil it down to five points. Number one, no paper. And really that could be stated as we don't wanna lose any paper we don't want to have to chase down paper quotes. We want everything digital, findable on the server, trackable and shareable throughout the organization. Number two was no typos or no typing. They wanted to be able to build an entire proposal by just touching items from a list. They wanted to make it easy to pick everything you need from a drop down list of company approved items at company approved prices with company approved profitability. No more winging it. Just imagine being able to touch and pick equipment, accessories, add-on services, job notes, finance plans, discounts, and rebates, all with the touch of a, a button. How fast and easy it is to do. Third, they didn't want to use computers. They wanted to move to a tablet app. And why? It's really just so fast and so easy. I was out on a flat flight recently, and at the airport, there was a little kid in a stroller uh, using an iPad. So I walked up to his mom and said, can I ask you how old your child is? She said, well, he'll be 10 months next week. Wow. It's remarkable how simple it is to use an app and how simple it is to learn how to use the app. The fourth requirement was no internet. They really didn't want any lag. They wanted all the data on the app so it works 100% offline, no delays, and lightning fast. They can play explainer videos with the touch of a finger. And finally, and this might be the biggest point of all, no math. They wanted to eliminate pricing mistakes. They wanted to have the right price, the right profitability, and the right selection of monthly payments on every quote. We call this set it and forget it pricing. It was really a game changer. Well, they started with 25 users, and we provided three hours of training, including training on the brand new tablets. This was a Wednesday in May of 2015. They practiced on their own for the rest of the week, and they went live on the following Monday. Uh, the rest is history. The changes were remarkable. Their win rate went up by 13%. Their average sales price went up over $500. Sales per rep grew by over $300,000 per year. Commissions were up between twenty dollars and $30,000 per rep. The business grew $8 million from $38 to $46 million. Overall, the company growth was an astonishing 22%. So how in the world would that be possible? Well, we see that it's still possible today with new users coming on board. It really boils down to being more professional and being highly productive. They saved 30 to 45 minutes per quote with the speed of the tablet app. What did they do with those 30 to 45 minutes? They invested that time at the company's home in a better discovery process. Yes, the replacement of old equipment was usually the big nail, but now they had time to tease out all the little nails that were also bothering the homeowners like air quality, hot or cold rooms, Wi-Fi stats, or how to lower higher utility bills. They were now able to offer accessories on every deal, so tip ticket prices went up. Profitability approved because they weren't guessing anymore. It was always company approved pricing, company approved profitability. And they were now able to offer choice in every deal, a best price, a best performance, or maybe a best value. So they hold, sold more high tier units. They were also able to offer and quickly offer financing on every deal. That made a major impact on win rates and ticket prices also went up. They were able to deliver a great looking proposal on the spot and to the call center so deals could close later that day. So let me explain. Once the tablet completes the proposal, it's pushed to the cloud server and it's available at the call center. So if that consumer calls up, the call center can take that call, look at the proposal and close that deal 
without any sales rep involvement. Really a great boost in productivity. And by quoting at the kitchen table, they were able to win deals before the competitors even got a shot at them. Their sales and operation management team summed it up this way. Sales Builder Pro transformed our business. How do I know this? I, along with my wife, were the first vendor to ever be invited to their four-day management retreat in the Bahamas. We had a great time. Well, you might be wondering, okay, so it works for large sales teams, but what about me? I'm a one or two sales rep organization, or maybe just an individual. Well, actually, most of our customers have one or two sales reps. About 60% are one or two sales users, comfort advisors, comfort consultants, whatever you might call yourself. So let me t tell you the story about a two-user company. Wade Heating and Cooling was started by Bob Wade in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania 40 years ago. Bob tells me he was the kind of kid that always wanted new tools for Christmas, the kind of kid who loved to take things apart and fix stuff. I met Bob just over five years ago at a dealer meeting in Pittsburgh. I was giving a presentation on Sales Builder Pro, and when we give live demos, there's usually three to four spots where we know we're almost always going to get an audible wow. We wait for that moment, we build up to that moment. Now, if you're in sales and you get three to four wows in a row, what do you do? Exactly, you stop, you ask for the order. You know you're reeling them in. So during this meeting, there's a particular vocal con contractor uh, on my right in the audience. And I, as I knew the first wow moment was about to arrive, I, I looked over at him and when I hit, hit that part of the demo, he said, holy baby Jesus, which really set the tone for the rest of the demo. The audience broke into laughter. I think this is when Bob woke up and really realized there was a better way to sell. Bob was laying on a nail that he didn't even know about. But that kid in Bob, that kid who wanted tools for Christmas, was willing to take his sales process apart and fix it with a new tool called Sales Builder Pro. After using our app for about a year, Bob told me getting Sales Builder Pro was the number one business decision he ever made. I almost said, holy baby Jesus, but I, I caught myself, and instead of blurting that out, I asked Bob if he'd give me that quote on a video testimonial. He said yes, and it's now on our website. Bob's retrofit sales more than doubled using Sales Builder Pro. His reps save time, they sell more, their use of financing increased, they sold more accessories, just like Four Seasons. One of Bob's reps put it this way, I never knew it was possible to sell so many accessories. Sales Builder Pro makes it so simple, Bob could then add six service techs on the app. The bottom line, I'm pretty sure we helped them double their retrofit sales over the past few years. Recently, after 40 years in business, Bob sold it. You know, other things being equal, the value of a business is going to be a multiple of your sales and your profitability. It's one of my greatest feelings of accomplishment to have helped someone like Bob, that kid who wanted tools for Christmas, a sales tool that helped him create so much extra value when he finally sold his business and got a great price, a price he deserved for investing 40 years of effort into his business. But what's my greatest feeling of accomplishment? It's really a story from Michael and Son. Michael and Son is a large contractor on the East Coast out of Alexandria, Virginia. They visited Four Seasons many years ago to seek and share best practices. After that visit, they called me and they wanted to start a pilot with their first 10 reps. A pilot with your first 10 reps, I thought, we don't usually get deals that big. We're used to working with one and two uh, individuals in a company. I asked how big they were, and I forgot the answer at the time, but now they have 800 employees, they run 600 trucks, they have over 25 sales reps covering four states. So we had a pilot with the first 10 users, and after that pilot, I went out, it was about a month later, to visit and see how it was going. I wanted to talk to the 10 reps who were using the app, and they were out in the audience uh, in front of me, and it was just me and the 10 sales reps, so I was gonna go around the room and talk to each individual one by one and ask them what they liked and what they didn't like about Sales Builder Pro. So just about ready to start with Robert on my left, and the door opens, and in walks Brandon, the sales manager. So a bunch of chatter, and everybody's talking about how they're doing, and they're showing off in front of their boss, and. Finally got to calm down, so I turned back to Robert to get the question answered, and door opens up again, and Eddie Smith walks in the door, and Eddie's the HVAC manager for Michael and Son. And so there's you know, a bunch of noise after that, it took a few minutes to settle back down, so I turned to Robert to get started, and lo and behold, the door opens a third time, and in walks Elias Musa, 
uh, the gentleman who found it, helped found the company 40 years ago. And as he walked in, you could hear a pin drop. Elias really commanded respect. So now I've got all the managers, all the 10 sales reps, and a question which I don't really know how it's going to be answered. But I had to proceed. Robert, what do you think about Sales Builder Pro? And Robert looked up to me, and I, I talked to Robert earlier. I knew he, had, he was a young guy with two young kids at home. He goes, John, getting this app was like getting a pay raise. And I felt like, cut the conversation. Let's not move on. I've done my job for today. So that was really a great feeling for me. And it really summed up the uh, implications for Michael and Son. Let me move on and tell you uh, on five slides uh, the key features of Sales Builder Pro. I'd really like you to sign up and get a uh, demo with one of our sales reps, either, either Trip Jordan, whose story I told you, or our other representative out west. And in those demos, you can really find out if it's a fit. We're not a fit for everybody, but if it's fit for you, I think we can do great things together. So let me go to the first slide, and we'll move through them very quickly. Shown on the screen is a screen capture of the Sales Builder Pro app and an output of the app, which is the proposal, a PDF document that can be directly emailed to your customer. Uh, we have a couple of options on the, the document itself, the, the PDF proposal. It can be a tiny banner at the top, just illustrating if your company was called Tetra, could just say Tetra HVAC, or we can have a full color page proposal, really showing off the value of your entire company, the other services that you might provide. And this gives you really a great looking branded proposal that re really helps you stand out in the sea of sameness. But again, the bottom line is getting that customer signature on the proposal and closing the deal on the spot. On the next slide, it really shows how we offer choice and simplify financing. Again, the app will automatically price the product, make sure it's profitable, and give you payment options such as illustrated here. You might call your options best price, best performance, best value, but you'll always be able to quote a monthly payment and get the right price, the right profit, and the right payment shown to the customer instantly. So you'll move to higher ticket prices. You'll close more deals. On the next slide, show some options unique to our solution. One of them is a risk manager that can pre predict the chance of a budget-busting job rollover. Shown on this slide is the 37% risk that that job's going to roll over. Now, if you're the install manager and you've won that deal, what can you do to mitigate that risk? Well, you could try to start early. You could see if you, the customer will allow you to stay late so you can finish that job, or you can send in a third hand to get that job done on time so that one day job does not roll over into an extra day. Our smart bill of materials also gets the right parts on the truck so when you're at the job, there's no part runs. No job rollovers, no part runs. Those are really key secrets to profitability. And finally, we have a site survey that captures pictures and data that the sales rep would capture at the point of sale. One comfort consultant said it this way, the site survey, smart bill of materials, and risk manager is like having an install manager on every job. I don't know how we ever ran our business without this. The next slide shows our deal manager. This is what your office personnel would look at. Sometimes you can't close a deal at the kitchen table, but deal manager allows you to close deals from your call center. So as soon as the rep finishes a proposal and pushes, completes that job, it will be sent to the call center and you'll be able to close that deal from the office if the customer calls in. The deal manager also stores the site survey forms, the install bill of material, it puts everyone on the same paperless page. And on my final slide is the Sales Builder Pro integration with Service Titan. You'll be able to schedule jobs in Service Titan. The customer information is automatically pushed to Sales Builder Pro. Once that proposal is created, it will be pushed back to Service Titan. So again, your call center can close jobs in Service Titan if that customer calls in after the fact. In conclusion, if you want to transform your business like Four Seasons, if you want to sell your business in a few years like Bob Wade, or if you just want to get a pay raise like Robert, give us a call. Let's schedule a demo. We'll show you how to remove some of the nails that you're laying on and learn how Sales Builder Pro can help you build a more professional, profitable, and productive sales and install process. Thanks very much.